too, as you can oh. see. Their bite pressure is up to 1,400 pounds, so easily he can take my entire hand, but he'd never do that. It's good, guys. We just got here. Hi. Just got here, so we're gonna go to the front and see where we go from here. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure we're able to record it. We've seen so many footage, so many uh, videos and pictures and things of that nature, so go to the front, get everything sorted, and then we'll let you, know. we'll let you guys know we'll be back. All right, guys, so... Um, we just found out that we can't bring our mic or our dead cat. Is it called dead cat? Yeah. Our yeah. dead cat on it. Oh, Thank you. Because uh, it looks like a toy and it's fur, and they specifically told us no fur. So we're ducks. Yeah, I was thinking like clothing, but I forgot about the dead yeah, cat. Yeah, so about the dead cat. We're gonna leave uh, the tripod and the dead cat audio stuff in the car, but we're gonna film obviously for you guys, and then we'll just talk about our experience, our experience afterwards. afterwards. Yeah, right. so let's head to the car. It's so. Imagine I walked to a different car. I could have. in here so this guy right here who's looking very curious his name is Naiche so he's 98% gray wolf all the animals that you're meeting today are wolf dogs um, used to be known as wolf hybrids so um, basically the cross between a wolf and a domesticated dog breed some cheese around you guys just yeah. don't pick it up i don't think you would um but he says his hello and then he goes back and lays down typical independent aloof behavior that's really how they are and now you're over here hi shante shante right here the one next to me you can see a little bit different appearances uh shante has pointier ears he's mixed with german shepherd so he has 70 percent wolf in him not as much wolf as naiche everything about naiche his ears his paws um, is wolfy. He doesn't have any dog features. Sit down. But he will sit for a hot dog. There you go. <laughs> Too, as you can see, their bite pressure is up to 1,400 pounds. So easily he can take my entire hand, but he'd never do that. He's so gentle with treats. There you go, bud. <laughs> sneaky guy. He's so sneaky. He's so He's like, sneaky. Where are we going, guys? <laughs> another girl whatsoever. She's very bossy. Um, she's turned into full model mode when she's up there. You can't beg for a treat. And she's a big beggar. You want to sit? Alright, you sit down and you give me a handshake. No, not jump. Sit and give me a handshake. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. And she will throw treats around you guys. So you can get a better look at her. And I'll get her up for photos too. <laughs> See how much smaller she is. She's a lot smaller than the other ones. She's about 70 something pounds. She eats very well, but she knows if she looks cute, she'll beg for a photo, beg for a treat. <laughs> and you see that? Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Wow, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. Say hello. You can do it right in this one? Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, my gosh. Look at his back legs. You can. He's actually doing really well for the year. He's the size. He's the new one. Nine months. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello. So hello. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Gotta watch He'll push you over. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> You're so cute. This guy gave me kisses. I got the best kiss. You guys. <laughs> I think he's playing on the cheek. He drools a lot, so I will love you guys. So. So, Katori here, the white one, is half white shepherd and he's half gray wolf. So, that's where he gets that beautiful <coughs> white coat. Samson is mostly dog. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see who's the alpha in here. It's Samson. He's kissing up to him. <laughs> Katori is the Omega. So, he's being. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh. Fine. I'm the Omega's a long one. Yeah. Done that earlier. I hate to now break. Go. What's good, guys? All right. Hey, guys. Hey. So we're back in the car. We just finished the tour. Uh, lasted about an hour. She gave us brochures, the tour guide. Um, and I have to say, we paid twenty dollars each. Yeah. Um, so it's twenty dollars a person for a donation. It's a nonprofit. So you go straight back into the facility, upkeep the animals. Um, so we found we found out so much information. We'll talk more like about our experience when we get home. Um, we want to tell you guys know that ten out of ten. Would recommend. Would recommend. It was absolutely amazing. Yeah, we loved it. One gave Brandon a kiss, and that's just, it was great. It was yeah, great it was experience. so cute. So, um, we're just going to run like a couple errands on the way home. When we get home, we'll uh, talk to you guys a little bit about how the whole experience went and if yeah. we, um, if we're going to do it again, what, what's the you know, next steps here. Um, but yeah, so we'll be back shortly. <laughs> I could do it too, see? Hey guys, so uh, it's not the same day, but we needed to recap um, our adventure to the Howling Woods. She's just hanging out there with Oliver, as you saw previously. Um, let me go ahead and sit down though, so it'd be easier. All right, so um, it was overall a really good experience. We went on a Saturday, actually we went on a Friday. Um, if you guys want to go to Howling Woods, I recommend you call and schedule an appointment they were they're literally booked up all of December, so I think January is like their first Saturday that you can go. But if you're available on the weekdays, that's a lot easier. Um, we signed well, we didn't sign up for volunteer, but we sent out our information. They're gonna contact us to see if they have availability. You know, and they'll give us a rundown of what that would look like. But I'd say it was overall a very good uh, adventure. I approve this message. She approved this message. Mola, do you approve? Mola. <laughs> so again, 10 out of 10. Um, would recommend. Would recommend. Uh, let us know if you guys have been there before or a similar animal rescue. They have several across uh, the country. Not too many, but they do. Um, so let us know if you plan on going. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video if you enjoyed. And you'll definitely catch us next time for more Explore New Jersey episodes.